Hello Internet and welcome back. In this video I will just briefly show you a few of the STM32 development boards that you can use if you want to get started into GFX or touch GFX or graphics applications in general. Um, there are a lot of different options and there are even more options that I'm going to show you here. Uh, this is just for getting an introduction and an idea of what's going on. So the first part, board that I got is, uh, is this one. This is a uh, STM32, uh, let me just show you the back here, uh, STM32 F746, maybe the camera will also focus at some point, maybe not. It has, it has a 4.3 inch capacitive touchscreen, it has Arduino headers on back, it has Ethernet, SPDIF, camera interface, micro SD, audio in and out, USB device and host, and probably some other stuff that I forgot to mention. Uh, it also has an integrated ST link, so you don't need any more else than this. Then there is this smaller board. This is the STM32 F429. Um, it doesn't have any Arduino headers, but it has a 2.4 inch uh, resistive touchscreen. Also, it has onboard SD RAM. It has a USB. Um, I think it's this is a device. I can't remember actually. Um, if you want to go the other direction, then we have this one. This is the STM32 F769i. The special thing about this is that the touchscreen uh, is a second board, so you can detach it. And actually, you can get this uh, the the bottom board without the screen. Uh, so you have to be uh, careful what what part you order. Uh, the disc zero or disco. Uh, should be the one with the with the screen and disk one is the one without the screen if I remember correctly as the with the 746 it has Arduino headers it has Ethernet it has micro SD audio in and out it has uh, SPDIF both RX and TRTX uh, it has USB uh, host and device as well and of course a lot of other stuff that I forgot to mention then there has uh, then there's this one. This is the STM32 H7B3i. It also has the Arduino headers. It has uh, Wi-Fi connectivity. Also has uh, a screen on a separate board. I believe this is the same screen as the 746. The reason I'm coming back to this all the time is this is a parallel interface on the. 6 uh, or 769 it's a DSI interface so it's a high speed serial interface where this is plain old RGB parallel uh, 24 bits I believe recently ST has released an add-on board for the 103 which is a really small nuclear board and um, if you have this already then you might consider just getting the, the adapter board with the screen on that will uh, most likely be cheaper. Um, I've learned that on the 429, you should be able to change the driver to SPI mode. So instead of uh, driving the LCD on a parallel interface, you can use or you can write your own driver for uh, SPI interface. That might come in handy if you're developing such a system. Uh, I just want to show you another thing. Uh, since all these boards, I will I'm be using Touch GFX exclusively for graphics applications. So I just want to show you here. If you start TouchGFX up, this is what you see in the beginning. So it will always start with a simulator, but we can change this. And if we just go to the ST Microelectronics tab, you can see this is all the boards that are available. And there's a lot more than I just described. Um, few of them, for example, this uh, STM32F769i evaluation kit, is more or less identical to the board that I am having here, but this is a discovery kit. So the evaluation kit has all peripherals broken out and a few more, a lot more uh, onboard peripherals as well. The board is also uh, more expensive, of course. So as for the resolution, um, the uh, 769 has the highest resolution is uh, 800 by 480. If we go downward, then we have the, sorry, we have the 746 over here in the other end. Uh, that's resolution is 480 by seven or 272. And further down, we have 
the if I can find it here on the list, uh, the 429. It has a resolution of 240 by 320. Also, you can see here that, that the, the latest TouchGFX designer has support for the nuclear board, which has a resolution of 240 by 320. So that should be the same as uh, the 429, right? Uh, this video is not going to be about uh, how to use TouchGFX Designer. If you enjoy this video, you can look through some of the other videos and see uh, how to get started. And But I want, just wanted to say, if you are just looking to get some graphical application up and running super duper fast on one of these development kits, then by all means, go for a TouchGFX Designer, have a spin at it, and... It's really fast to do interactions if you just want to change between screens and stuff like that. If you want to interact with hardware, the nice thing about all these templates here is that uh, these are called application templates. So an application template will give you all the drivers that you need to, uh, for example, the touch screen, the SDRAM uh, and other uh, configuration stuff like the external memory that it will be set up for you. And you will even get a STM Cube IDE project set up for you. Um, remember that the Cube MX is only a hardware configurator. It doesn't configure any uh, firmware. It doesn't configure any timings. Uh, even though that you get this, uh, do you want to use the uh, development kit default settings? It only sets up the hardware for you, uh, the pinouts and stuff like that. It doesn't uh, include drivers for anything. So if you're inter interested in that, then have a look at my other videos. And um, if you have a comment, please leave it uh, yeah, below. Thanks for watching.